Okay, making this video showing you the uh, different uh, UVC ultraviolet air sterilizers that I use as part of my uh, air cleaning. Uh, these units do not remove uh, particulate matter the way HEPA filters do. They are designed to uh, kill viruses and bacteria in the air that pass through it. Um, the first one that I use is by Germ Guardian. This is a tabletop unit. It's pretty popular, kind of a neat looking unit pretty high-tech looking. Uh, the second one I use is also by Germ Guardian. This one is meant to plug directly into the wall. The uh, third UVC sterilizer I use is by Swordfish. This one's by Swordfish here. And it's a tabletop unit. Now I'll have a few comments about each of these units that I use. This Swordfish one I am very happy with. I used it for over a year. Um, the bulb that it comes with, I've had no issues with it, uh, no issues with the fan. I'll turn it on and show you how loud it is or how quiet it is. Very, very quiet. Uh, the bulb that came with it, no problem. It hasn't burned out yet. And that's the Swordfish UVC sterilizer. It has an 18 watt bulb in it. Now we move on to the uh, Germ Guardian. Now turn it on. fires up. First thing you will notice is how loud it is. The motor is, uh, from day one has been kind of like, kind of like a grinding sound. I don't know if we're all like that, but this one is. And you can vary the speed of the fan. If you slow it down, it's a little bit quieter. Turn it back up. That just changes how fast the air passes through the chamber. The slower the better actually for killing uh, viruses and bacteria move on to this one here. This one is designed to plug into the wall but I think it's just too heavy for that. So what I've done here is I get an extension cord and I plug it directly in like so. That way it does not stress your uh, your plug at all and then you can put a tabletop. A lot better way to mount it anyway. Like so. And this one's fairly loud also for how much air it moves. It does not move um, whole lot of air. Okay, the next thing I will comment about is the bulb life of these units. Um, like I said, the Swordfish, uh, the factory bulb that I got with it is still going, no issues at all. Uh, hasn't burned out yet, so I'm happy with that. Uh, the Germ Guardian one, the uh, bulb that I got with both of these ones actually burned out in a very short time, especially this one maybe lasted a month maybe and burned out. So I went to my local store, bought, um, bought two more and each one of those burned out within maybe no more than two months of use and they burned out also. So uh, not very good bulbs that come with these things. So I have sourced out a company online that makes aftermarket bulbs for, for these Germ Guardian units and for the uh, Swordfish unit. Uh, I'm not affiliated with that company, but I've used the bulbs and they worked uh, pretty good. I've had the bulb going in here for eight months almost straight, uh, no issues. Hasn't burned out yet. Uh, I've had a bulb in this one now for about three months uh, from the aftermarket company and uh, no issues, hasn't burned out yet. So um, obviously the aftermarket company makes better bulbs than Germ Guardian does. So I'll, I'll put a link to that website on here. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them, but I uh, uh, use their bulbs and they're actually cheaper than the, the stock ones. Um, the bulb that came with this, that Swordfish makes, no issues, so you can order from that company or try out the aftermarket one. The aftermarket one is a lot cheaper than ordering from the company. Uh, that's what I have to say about the bulbs. Um, as far as the technology goes, do these air sterilizers actually kill viruses and bacteria in the air? Well, I know UVC is proven technology and it does kill viruses and bacteria. However, do these particular units do that in the air? The answer is, I don't know, because I have no way of checking that. Uh, I do know viruses and bacteria need a certain amount of time of exposure uh, to the UVC light to be killed or, or inactivated. As it is, it doesn't actually kill them, it just uh, sterilizes them so they can't reproduce. But when the air gets sucked in here, uh, is there enough time for that to happen? The answer is I don't know. 
We'll have to trust the manufacturers on that one, won't we? Um, anyway, these bulbs do not produce ozone. They're spe specifically designed not to do so, so it can't hurt um, to use them. So I hope that helps. Um, I use them anyway. Uh, company says they kill viruses and bacteria, so like I say, it can't hurt. Um, they don't remove particulate matter from the air, like particles, smoke, or pollen, or anything like that. They do have a little dust filter on the on the uh, bottom you can take out. That's just to protect the insides, basically. It filters out like uh, large particles, just so the fan doesn't get clogged up. But that's not their purpose. If you want to get rid rid of particles, you need like an IQ air or a Honeywell unit like that. But um, as far as cleaning the air, I use them anyway, and. Uh, if you're going to buy one of these, definitely look at getting some aftermarket bulbs. There you go.